Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 25th of 2019. Well, it is titled the Pelican Nebula in gas, dust and stars. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Pelican Nebula, also known as IC5070. And it is an example of an emission nebula. Now an emission nebula occurs when energy from a star excites gas around it and causes it to glow. And each specific element will give off distinct wavelengths based on its energy levels. And we will see that here. And in fact, in this case, this is what we call a narrow band image. We're not looking at all of the colors of the spectrum. We're looking only at very specific wavelengths that are being emitted. And in this case, we're looking at the emission of sulfur, hydrogen and oxygen atoms. So when those atoms are excited, they will give off specific wavelengths. And if we set filters to just look at those wavelengths and then color code these so that we can see them, each color, the reds and the reds and the blues and the oranges here represent a specifically different type of atom where that atom is being excited. Now we can see some uh, different things going on here. This is a region of star formation. And in a star forming region, we can have a combination of two things. And that would be hot gas and cold gas. Cold gas is a lot of the darker areas. And the hot gas are some of the brighter areas. So the middle section here is hotter gas that has been excited by these stars. When we say hot or cold, we really mean how fast the particles are moving. So hot gas is just a gas where the particles are moving very quickly. And a cold gas, the particles are moving in a much more slowly. So here along the border we see is an ionization front. This is the region where we are separating between the two between the hot gas on one side and the cold dark gas on the other. So in the dark areas, that is where stars are just beginning to form. So there's that's where they come where they begin to collapse under their own gravity, that material will start to con condense into denser knots. Now, as that ionization front moves through star formation will move through. So that's the region right now where we'd be seeing current stars forming. The various to the left would have the regions that are now have hot stars and are exciting that gas energizing it and causing it to glow. To the right down towards the lower right side, it's very dark, we don't see any emission there yet. And that is going to change over the coming years. And it will take hundreds of thousands of years for this to occur. But as that front moves through, that will become more energized as well. And new stars will begin to form right where we see that front moving right now. Now, even within the front and within the darker area, you can see a couple of denser knots of cold gas. These are uh, regions where the stars are still condensing. So they're a little bit denser knots. They have not yet been eaten away by the intense radiation from the stars that have formed on the left hand side of this. And they are the parts that are adding new stars. And within the next couple of hundred thousand years or so, we'll have new stars that form there as well. So in an area like this, star formation is an ongoing process and will continue continue. So where the stars have formed right now, there are stars that are just forming and there are the stars that are just beginning the process of formation from dark clouds. So really in looking at one region, we can get an idea of looking at of how star formation works, because we can see many different stages of star formation all at once. So that was our picture of the day for September the 25th of 2019. It was titled the Pelican Nebula in gas, dust and stars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.